Hey guys, in this short video I will show you how to create and animate some background objects like trees, grass or flowers using Maya paint effects and export them into VRED and loop the animation there. So first thing we're gonna do is creating a tree. Therefore we can use one of the pre-installed paint effects in Maya. Going to Window, General, Editors and then go to the Content Browser. And in here you can find some paint effects that are installed already. I choose tree mesh and then use the willow straight heavy. So now you can start painting your trees. This is a little bit too much for my taste. I just want to have one or two trees like this one. And when I press the play button, it starts waving in the wind. If I want to change that behavior a bit more, I can go to the Willow Straight Heavy One tab and then to Tubes, Behavior and Turbulence. And in here, if I change the Turbulence to 1, it's heavily waving in the wind. So let's change that back to 0 0.15 for example. That's totally fine. And the next thing we want to do, because right now, as you can see, um, the animate starts from the beginning at frame 200, and I want to loop this animation. And therefore, I choose in the Turbulence tab, instead of Tree and Win, a World Force. Now I go to Generate, Brush Animation, loop brush animation and in here I can influence that even a bit more. I say 200 frames as a cycle frame, apply, loop and now my tree nicely loops and starts from the beginning. So I can play that in an infinite mode at the end. So now we have to convert that paint effect into a polygon mesh going to modify, convert and then paint effect to polygons. All right, basically that's it for the setup and now let's export that as an Olympic cache. Going to cache, Olympic cache, export all to Olympic. Time slider, you can also um, change that to a certain range of frames but we leave everything as a default and then we say export all. Okay, now let's import the tree into Fred. We go to import, select the tree.abc file, leave the settings to default and simply import that tree. As you can see Maya exported a couple of stuff we don't need later anymore and if I go to my curve editor you can see that only actually these two objects are animated having an Olympic cache so we can basically move that stuff out and delete everything that is not necessary anymore. So we also can assign some new materials to the tree. Some brown for the branches and green material for the leaves. And if I play the animation, you can see it, it works quite well. So of course we have to change the play range to 200 frames like in Maya. And you can see it nicely loops from the beginning at the end of the animation. So you can play that in an infinite loop.
So how to do that? We open the clip editor. We create a new clip. And then we can move the two alembic animations in here. It is also possible to change the range afterwards if the animation is playing too fast for each of the animations. One is for the branches, one is for the leaf. And now it's waving in the wind, quite nice. If you use that animation in a bigger ensemble of uh, animations, you can loop these in here by setting the cycles to minus one. This is playing an infinite loop. So you can also um, transform and scale the tree if it was too small in Maya. Make the tree a little bit bigger. You can also copy or clone the tree if you like. Or you simply duplicate the tree This will also duplicate your animations and if you like you can then um, arrange them differently in your clip editor. Basically, that's it. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. See you next time.